Today I have another boring GM cluster to look at. This came from a local car lot. I think they just took it in on trade. The guy's like, none of the gauges are working right. Can you come take a look? And yeah, she's definitely messed up. Um, none of the gauges are really zeroing out right. But I think this one's going to be interesting because when you look at the uh, display film, it's got some scratches and nicks in there, which is always a good sign that somebody's been in there dicking around. So, might be an interesting build. I'm going to start peeling off some layers and see what all they screwed up. Yeah, that came off awfully easy. I can tell right away that all of the needles have been pushed down too far. They're actually bottoming out and rubbing. Kind of a rookie mistake. Somebody is in there and really didn't know what they were doing. Uh, let's see if I can get these off of here. So it's never a good sign. When someone tries to fix something and they really uh, haven't done their research. Soldering isn't something that, uh, you know, you need to practice. In other words, when it comes to soldering, you don't just want to jump in and start working on delicate boards. Here's another. This right here has been unclipped, so it's another sign that someone's been in there screwing around. Again, there's no reason to take off this layer. Uh, every time somebody takes a cluster apart for some reason, they insist on peeling this all apart. There's absolutely no reason to. You just take the whole layer off in one piece. So another, just another sign that someone been nicking around. Okay, so it's got the clone, Chinese clone stepper motors put in there. Uh, some people will say they're Chinese junk, but they're actually not bad at all. I've very rarely seen them fail. Um, so let's just take a look at the good stuff here. There's our soldering. Uh, I think that to focus. And yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty awful. Like, like these aren't even soldered. This pin isn't even through this. Uh, yeah, these haven't even been soldered, and it's the pin's bent over in this one. The rest of these are, yeah, they're not even soldered. They're just, they just stuck the pins through. I mean, there's globs of solder, so they obviously had a soldering gun. Wow, that is awful. It's like they ripped out the old step. Oh, it's full of scratches. They ripped out the old step motor and just pushed the new ones in. Yeah, this foil's completely destroyed. Missing pads. Oh, what is that? Holy cow. It's full of scratches, too. What the hell were they doing? Attacking it? Yep, missing pads. Pulled up pads. Solder blobs. Oh, man, that is terrible. Uh, well, if they were in there, yeah, I can see some pry marks where they just pried off the old step motors. The thing with that is there's there's foil traces on the top side of this board. When you're in there with the screwdriver trying to force that up, you're, just, you're gouging into the uh, copper traces. And I have seen it before where they just dug right through and cut open traces. I've even seen some dents on the leads here in this chip. Well, I'm just going to have to dig in and start fixing and see how bad it is. Um, hmm. You think I'm going to remove all the stepper motors and see if there's any damaged traces underneath them from them prying the old ones off. What a disaster. I should have quoted more for this. <laughs> okay, so I got the stepper motors pulled out so I could assess the damages. Here's one of the motors that I didn't even bother to put the pin through. It just got bent over. Anyways, yeah, I can definitely see where they got in there with the screwdriver and pried off the old stepper motors. There are some scratches, but luckily it looks like none of the foil traces have been cut all the way through from their gouging. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them back in, this time with all the leads sticking through the holes. And on the back side I got it cleaned up. Um, this group of three here are actually okay and don't need anything. The pads are still there and intact. This one we have one missing pad and one of these uh, pads are starting to lift but might need a little help. And on the speedometer we got a missing pad and one pad that's butchered. And on the RPM a couple of missing pads. So it's not the worst I've seen but uh, we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead start putting back together and see what doesn't work and what does work. 
All right, new stepper motors are in. I ended up putting in new X27s. Um, the old black ones probably are okay, but I just didn't feel like dealing with them on this board. So it's got new X27s, and most of the solder joints turned out okay. You know, this set over here was all right. I did need to uh, cheat a little. Add a jumper here for that missing pad. This one here also needed a jumper because the even though the pad was there, it actually had broken away. A couple of uh, jumpers here for the RPM, and the one needed for the mile per hour. The other ones look like they'll hold up okay. I'm just going to give it a quick test just to see how well uh, it can zero itself out. If it can zero itself out okay, then I'll continue and put light bulbs in this thing and put it back together. With the uh, zero test, zero test I'm going to do, uh, I can tell if there's a lead that's not making a connection by how it moves or might not move right at all. But, uh, all right, let's boot it up. Uh, RPM has an issue. Everything else looks good though. So now I have to find out why the RPM did not go. All right, I'm gonna dig in. I'll pause the video here. Okay, the RPM did not chooch because we have one not making a connection here. I'm gonna go from a via. That one's good. Number two is good. Number three is good. But here. We ain't got no contact. We have to run one more jumper, and that should take care of the RPM. All right, jumper ran. Let's give it one more test. Ah, look at that. I believe Bob is your uncle. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead, finish it up, do one more final test. All right, folks, here you have it. A proper full sweep out of each and every gauge. Hopefully, maybe one person learned a lesson out there by watching this video is that these stepper motors don't go into sockets on the circuit board. They are soldered in. You can't just pry them off. Please unsolder them. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.